That's beautiful. Oh, it looks great, mate. Man. Bring back more. love the canals. The great thing about the canals, it seems to be this abundance of fish, but remember, it won't stay there unless we look after it. And I'd just like to share a few points on angler etiquette, because I want to make sure that you do look after this resource. It's important that if you see other anglers fishing in a spot, that you just don't crowd them out. Now I know some people got their tips and techniques going really, really well, so they're catching fish, and sometimes we can think it's all about the spot they're standing, but generally it's not. What we need to do is give them enough space so that when they hook a fish, they've got time to play it. Please, remember, you want to offer the courtesy to them that they're going to give to you. Another area of concern for me is that I see people mishandling fish. Now I know there's a lot of small fish that get caught, and the difficulty is that sometimes they're cooked well down in the throat or, they, uh, or, or we wrestle with them to try and get the hook out. It's most important where you possibly can be nice and easy on the fish, treat it with respect, nurse it back to life, and when you take the hook out, please, please, please do it nice and quickly. If you've got yourself a set of forceps of some description, it's so much easier to get it in there, dispatch it nice and quickly. But I've seen people, they catch the fish, they run up onto the car because it's miles away, and then they rummage through the boot to try and find something to get the hook out. Meanwhile, the poor thing's suffering on the bank. Remember, that's our future. Another really, really important thing. I know, we've all heard stories of people who can't count. We're only allowed two salmon and two trout to take home. That's for each person catching individually. That doesn't mean you hook it and you give it to someone else to land and they take it away, because technically it's your fish. I know it's a harsh rule, but you know, it's protecting our future. So please, please, please respect what's said on the license about the numbers of fish because we want them to be there in the future. Now here's another pet subject. I've seen people foul hooking fish. Yeah, I know you wouldn't think that people want to go out and deliberately foul hook a fish, but they are tempting because they're big. Now, that's unethical behaviour and it shouldn't be tolerated. If you foul hook a fish, it's required to be put back into the water. What about our environment around here? Sometimes I wander around and I see um, little mounds of, of uh, braid and nylon. It's just not good enough. Clean up after you when you've been there. Take away your bottles, get rid of your paper, make sure the place stays nice and clean. Uh, we don't want it to turn into a rubbish tip. This is a, not a third world country, all right? We want it looking nice and clean. And when you catch your fish, make sure you gut it away from people. Most important, if you can, take your guts home. Now I know you gotta look after your fish, I do appreciate that. But get into a place where there's no one else around and make sure that you don't leave it so that it just makes the place smell, all right? Those things make our life a lot easier. We all love the canals. It's a tremendous resource. More and more people are using it. It's gonna be there for the future. Isn't it wonderful? They're putting in more and more salmon farms. They're gonna be throwing in more and more feed. There's gonna be more and more escapes. It's great. Our kids are gonna have this heritage. Isn't it worthwhile looking after? I know you'll agree with me. Let's take the care and the time now to protect it for the future. We'll all win.